Hi folks, uh, we're here again uh, with Timothy Barlow from MattheGlad.com. We're here talking about a recession is a terrible thing to waste. Are you mentally prepared? Um, Tim is educating us on different things we can do uh, from a, a mental perspective or emotional perspective and how we can leverage um, or prepare ourselves to leverage this recession every time. Tim, you were talking about cleaning our, our mind, cleaning our emotions, then clean our house, clean our place of living. Right. Um, then what's next? Well, now as we're going into action, as we're creating all this change and, and success starts to come in, we want to get into a place of maintaining or, or, or constant creation. That, right. that at times we're going to hit the wall. I mean, again, part of acceptance that we had started this conversation with is, uh, is understanding that um, very much like the stock market, we're going to have our, our peaks and valleys. We're going to have times where we're, you know, few miles ahead and then there's times where we're going to wonder why we ever started. Okay. And so one of the ways to, to stay in the game is to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves um, and to remember that we are three part beings. I mean, you'll hear the mind, body, spirit. Oh, interesting. So we... You know, we want to clean our mind, but we also want to keep it clean. You know, we also want to, you know, so we want to continue to read uh, books or, or watch videos or attend seminars that are in alignment with where we want to go. Education. So we, we, we said we need a continue education right. or co continue self-development right. program in, in, our, in our system. Nothing diminishes fear like education. Right. You know, when you learn... You, you, you grow and you diminish fear because when you understand something, you become less afraid of it. Right. So you want to focus on that. The body is an area where for years I really, you know, I was very strong in my mind, very strong in my spirit, not taking care of my body. In the sense of eating, LT? Eating, uh, you want, you know, more, you know, raw foods, more good foods, um, drinking lots of water is important and, uh, and, active like to stay active i mean i, I swim three times a week now nice, and nice. you know little things mm -hmm. i never did that when i was you know, mm -hmm. um just even going for a walk um it, just being outside breathing fresh air versus staying inside you know all these things that take care of yoga um is there is a really good uh form of exercise that is, that is so, so you you talked about creating a, a lifestyle right rather than just right. uh, a financial style right so you're saying package it all together right and, and, and that's what you, you talk about, that's what people talk about, keeping it balanced. There is no end zone. You know, this is where I, where I really encourage my clients to understand that we're not going to hit a touchdown. We're not going to raise our arms and say, I'm done. You know right. what I mean? Like we're always moving, always growing, always changing because the universe is always changing. Markets are always changing. Our society is always changing. We constantly want to be, you know, moving and growing and, 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 and in flow with that. If I get stuck, that's not natural. The universe is always moving. I must keep moving. So we kind of have to get aware of that. Well, when I make my million, then I'm done. It's not really going to be that way. Because once you make one, you want two. Right. You know, Unless you and, want to, you right. want 10. So really what you want is to create a life where you get paid to play. Wow, I like that. You know, like where create, create a life to get paid to play. Right, so that when you're working, it's not work. You know, like it, it's, you're, you're, you're playing. I mean, on my way to an interview today, I spoke with two clients. Yet I still, I did that because that's what I do. You know, getting paid to play. So right. why not play while you're on your way here? Right. Yes, so, excellent. So I do that. Um, the last part is, is once I'm taking care of my mind, I'm taking care of my body, my spirit. And now, you know, some people will back up with that and, well, I have to go to church. And it's like, no. <laughs> no, but it does take a look at, well, what do I believe? Why do I believe it? Um, you know, concentrating on who I want to be, not just what I want to do. Right. You know, feeling good about myself. Um, taking care of my spirit is also, I can play music. I can do art. I can do all those things feed my soul. We have to remember that we are not just brains and flesh. We, well, it can be argued, I guess, by some people, you know, mm -hmm. we, but with, there is an essence to us that also must be nurtured. And so we can do that from reading books or, you know, or, or uh, you know, creating a more stronger connection. So what kind of books would you recommend a person re read in order to develop or enhance their spirit? Um, you know, there are a lot of good, you know, great teachers out there that with different methodologies, you can uh, go anywhere from a Wayne Dyer to a Deepak Chopra to a Paulo Coelho, you know, depending on what type of 
reading you want. Some are about how to, how to be more, you know, how to meditate, how to do this. Some are more like Paulo Coelho, for example, uh, writes The Alchemist and books like that, where there's just stories. They're, 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 they're parables taught in, in inspiring stories, things like that. Excellent. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So once you've done that, then the last part that I think is the most important and is actually the shortest amount of time you have to invest, two minutes a day. And what is this? I got I to gotta hear this one. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, what they call visualization. Wow. Okay. Now, uh, some people, as you had referred to earlier, think about positive thinking. Visualization is not about positive thinking. It's about positive feeling, which means I am going to close my eyes. I'm going to picture success. But I'm not just going to picture, you know, uh, success in terms of just the boats and the cars and this and that. I'm going to picture how I would feel in that moment. So, for example, I can feel, how would it feel to cash that first five-figure check? You know what I mean? Like, wow. uh, How would it feel when I'm high-fiving my friends at the first party that I throw for a hundred people that, you know, and, and it, it, everything's on me? So, you, you visualize in the end results. Right. So, if, if there's a particular car you want, you know, uh, a, sometimes a, a good idea is to uh, go to the dealership, mm -hmm. sit in it, feel it. What it would be like to drive that car, you know, like, like and know that, like, like, as the more you feel it, the more that I'm going to create that, you know, that, that uh, I'm now aligning my thoughts, my feelings, and my actions. Everything is in alignment. I'm talking to the salesman about buying that car. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't have the money yet to buy that car, right. I am I am demonstrating, if you will, to the universe. I am ready for this. Right. So we, we, we create a clean mind, a clean house, clean body, take an action plan or create an action plan towards getting results, and then you visualize the end results. Right. While you're going through the process of developing yourself, of getting results in your action plan, whether you start your own business, right. work two, three jobs, whether you're investing in real estate, clean up your credit, whatever it is, right. and then you visualize the results, and that's and then you continue the same thing over and over. Right, and again. remembering that a lot of the work, like anything else, like starting a company, is front-loaded. It seems like a lot at the beginning. Once you're going, maintenance is actually very easy. Right. But it, it's in the beginning, it can seem overwhelming. One step at a time, you know, get each each thing moving on its own, and then once they're going, once I get something rolling, keeping it rolling is actually not that difficult. Excellent. Thank you very much. Pleasure. I want to thank you for coming out, Tim. Thank Thanks you. for sharing all your, all your great knowledge thank you. and your perspective on how we can change our financial situation, how we can prepare our mind, our body, or our spirit, and um, create a good visual plan, a good action plan, a good marketing plan to take our finances to the ultimate level. Folks, you're watching A Recession the Terrible Thing to Waste. Are you mentally prepared or emotionally prepared? We are going to continue shooting this series to get you right for 2000 and whenever, because it never ends, according to Tim. He says you continue <laughs> doing the same thing over and over again. To your success. See you then.